Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. You know, to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's fur video, day 10 will take us to the 29th of March. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around the coming weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us towards the middle part of uh, April. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video say was the 6am upload. And uh, we've also released the third update for summer 2023. So please check out those two vids if you like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Around 23, 24 subscribers are going to get us to 15.7k. Um, so you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. That would be amazing. Thanks so much. It's Mother's Day today. So happy Mother's Day to all of the lovely, lovely mums out there. Uh, from Gav's All Weather Vids. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely uh, Mother's Day. And uh, happy Mother's Day, you know, to to all of the mums that are still with us and all of those mums that have left us. Uh, right, so we're going to start off with the searching temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 5.3, which is just under half a degree uh, below average. So that's come up a lot, hasn't it, over the past few days. That's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 18th. But I don't think it can be very long for that. It actually goes a bit above average to you. It's certainly come up a lot over the past week when you consider how low it was around the 10th of March. The first 10 days of the month, the, the second 10 days have been um, very, very mild and virtually offset that cold. Uh, first of the uh, week to 10 days of the month. We wait to see where that is going to uh, end up. Will it come out? Will we come out the cold and average month? Will we end up with a milder and average month? I'm, be I'm beginning to wonder now uh, whether we're actually going to come out with a milder than average March. But we should wait and see um, what happens. Uh, these are the 500 millibar high tonic road charts from Penn State University for the 7 to 10 day time frame. We've got the ECMWF on the top. And uh, the GFS is on the bottom. So 500 millibars, 80 bars B is an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red, yellow, orange, those brighter colours extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, and blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. And the darker the blue, you know, the deeper the low, uh, really. So with each share, we can see in the uh, 7 to 10 day time frame, we're going to have... Uh, low pressure to our north and also to our west as well. We will be, we will be bringing bringing even the flow in from off the Atlantic. So it looks rather unsettled and probably quite cool as well because I think the jet stream is down here where we've got the uh, green line just there. That's where the jet stream will, blip, will be, I think. So we are actually a little bit on the cold side of the jet stream. And that's because we've got a blocking area of high pressure or some sort of area of high pressure blocking um, around Greenland. The GFS is uh, very similar. Again, has that deep area of below average heights across northern Eastern parts of Europe. The block is more towards the Canadian side of the uh, Arctic band. We have high pressure down across southern Europe that actually sends the jet stream a bit further north. So out of the two, I would say the uh, GFS is probably the milder of the two, really, although the trough is centred more towards Scandinavia, which you'd think would be bringing more of a northern wind. But actually, I think the jet stream is a little bit further northwards. Um, because of this area of high pressure around the Med, um, the blocking being more towards the Canadian side of Greenland. They're both unsettled, though. They're both in prime, even as we get towards the last stages of uh, March in the next week, 10-day time frame, we are likely to be seeing um, low pressure in control, bringing further spells of rain and whatnot. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off a little bit below average at the moment. You'll see those upper air temperatures lifting up as we go uh, through the next couple of days. That's with an area of low pressure coming in from off now. So we're going to decline in the upper air temperatures through the final week of uh, March, going actually a little bit colder than average there. 
in the closing days of the month. So it might still be signs of a little bit of a cold snap shaping up sometime through the final week of March before the upper air temperatures bend into early April start to recover a bit. Although there is a lot of scatter within that. So the midnight GFS operation will actually keep things quite cold. See at the moment, keep things quite cold as we go um, through into the opening days of April, whereas these ensemble members up here, including the GFS control room, which is the thick blue line, uh, they turn things a lot milder. So, quite a lot of, quite a lot of uncertainty within uh, the GFS ensembles. Then, precipitation-wise, going to be more wet weather to come. So, it just sort of generally unsettled, doesn't it, as uh, we're going from uh, or through the rest of March and possibly even into the beginning of April. Not much sign of a drier window, a drier spell opening up there. But there will be a dry, dry days here and there, but overall, that does look really quite unsettled and mixed. Temperature anomaly, it's on the 19th, 27th of March, are uh, milder than average. Most parts of Europe coming out milder than average as well, though uh, Scandinavia, away from southern Sweden and Denmark, is, uh, is colder than normal. Not a particularly big deviation, but a little bit on the mild than average side, and uh, that will continue to lift up CT, of course, and unravel the cold opening week 10 days. Precipitation anomalies. On the 19th to 27th of March, they're coming out average to wetter than normal as well. The latest wind from that from urbanrollschool.net shows that we're drawing the air up from uh, the uh, Atlantic today once again, and uh, southwesterlies are waiting for winds. We are actually under a little transient ridge today, but more low pressure is in the Atlantic, and there's a weather front front system through there, and we're bringing up southwestern winds with that. So the milder feel and more rain will be coming back tonight and tomorrow. Right then, so this is our latest UK Met Euro run is looking for big night on Wednesday. Low pressure is in from off the Atlantic, keep the unsettled conditions going, and they last right the way through the uh, second half of the coming week and into the weekend as well. Keep those areas of low pressure rolling in from off the Atlantic. We do start trying to raise heights a little bit towards Greenland, that starts to have a a bit further south. So, this area of low pressure just here could bring some the wettest weather to the south. And on the normal side of that, there's some colder air beginning to dig back in again. Um, how long for remains to be seen, though. Icon, uh, once more, showing low pressure dominating the weather as we go through uh, Wednesday and into Thursday and Friday. Uh, more areas of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic there. Into the weekend, the low pressure clears way to the east. We start to pull down some colder winds from the north. So going colder over the uh, weekend. So I'll probably turn wintry across Scotland. I'm a little transient ridge trying to build in, but we have got another area low pressure to the West Scotch. I think mean, generally Icon looks colder the next weekend than the uh, UK Met. GFS Midnight Run, we know this is going to go colder, looks like this low pressure once more is coming in from off the Atlantic on Wednesday and uh, that's going to keep the unsettled thing going through the weekend and into next week as well. Gradually colder air starts pushing into the north as well. This area of low pressure coming through the country during the weekend. This is midnight Monday, so during next Sunday, I suppose, would bring rain to the south. Possibly a little bit of winchiness on the northern side of that low for Scotland. And then the wind turns into a cooler or a colder northwesterly as we run up towards day can. Beyond that, high pressure building around green and ice and bring down a proper northerly there as we get to uh, month's end. That's the 31st of uh, March, last day of the month, looking quite cold and rather wintry. Um, by the time we get through to the end of a GFS midnight run, which is June 4th of April, more low pressures back in from off the Atlantic, keeping me Pretty dismal weather going uh, with further spells of rain, but at least I suppose it is turning a bit milder. The GFS 6Z, again, with that low pressure in control through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into the weekend as well. Further low pressure pushing through, although some cold air starting to trickle down from uh, the north into the northern half of the country, but it doesn't last as long. By days 9 and 10, low pressure back in from off the Atlantic, bringing wet weather across the country and a milder push of winds from the southwest there as well. So uh, no cold snap with the GFS 6 m unlike what we saw with GFS Midnight Run. That's the 31st of March, a little bit colder there with winds turning into the northwesterly. Um, and then spring starts getting going through the, uh, the opening days of April. This nice reach from the Azores. This is proper spring. I know it's been spring like the last couple of days, but 
um, you know, this is genuine spring where we break out of the unset weather, especially in the south. And uh, that will probably lift the temperature at least to a big teen cells is maybe higher than that. So turning uh, quite warm with that area of high pressure from the Azores bear. Tantalising glimpse of spring from the GFS 6 And If you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody. For doing that, GM with low pressure again in from off the Atlantic on Wednesday. Further spells of uh, rain coming in from the west over the weekend as well. As that low pressure clears away to the east, we bring some cold rain in from, from the north with a little bit of a transient ridge building uh, across the coast. That transient ridge doesn't last for long. More low pressure heading back in through days 8, 9, and 10. And some cold air getting into Scotland, but not making much progress further south of that actually so the coldest weather is restricted to Scotland so it's by no means a done deal but we're going to get this cold snap in the last week of um, March it is a lot of uncertainty about it and then the ECM once again showing unsettled weather on uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday low pressure in control Bring spells of rain. Eventually, some cold air start to trickle in from the north into the northern half of the country. The jet stream goes south and begins to take the areas of low pressure southwards with it. Not for long, though. That's the 28th of March. We're back into milder southerly winds there with this area of uh, low pressure. Um, all looking very unsettled, though, I have to say. Really, really unsettled charts here. Whichever model we take, it's just a question of whether it's going to turn colder or stay relatively mild. But what we can say with pretty good confidence, I think, is that it is going to be uh, quite a lot more rain to come, I'm afraid. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomecho.com. Plenty of wet to ever piling in from the Atlantic over the next few days. Cold up for some back down to snow in the north as well. And uh, further wet weather continuing into the second half of next week and next weekend too. So really wet weather on the south coast there. That's the uh, 26th of March. Wet in the south. Slight window of drier weather for a couple of days um, around days uh, 8. And so, um, also, and then we're back into those wet conditions again once you get to day nine and ten with more spells of rain it looks like a little bit of a deluge pattern there doesn't it from uh, the ecm model these are the options on the table within the ecm ensemble today for day 10 uh from the i say met office gets us to the 29th of march 22 members of the ecm ensembles with below average heights to our east and above average heights are uh, blocking out to the west, and that would be bringing the wind from a cooler northwesterly, maybe rather northerly direction. So that looks quite cold actually at uh, day 10. 11 uh, look like that, with again a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland, lower pressure uh, over and to south and east of the country. That's probably going to be bringing some quite cold air into the north at, the, at least. Uh, another 11, including the control and the operation run with low pressure. Over and just slight to the east, high pressure around Greenland. That looks potentially quite chilly. Um, and then we've got seven just here with high pressure just out to our west. And uh, low pressure is to the east. So we're bringing them in from like a northwesterly type direction. That's the driest option. I mean, that would be a little bit on the cool side, I think. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 3rd of April, 20 members of the ECM on Solomon's Bay, looking very unsettled with low pressure in from off the Atlantic, spells of rain. And uh, reasonably mild, though, winds are coming in from the west of that, so we're losing the blocking uh, with that, but certainly unsettled. And then 16 with high pressure down to our southwest, so that's going to be turning a little bit drier. Um, could be turning wider as well if we get winged up from southwest, and then 15 with low pressure to our uh, east, south east, high pressure to our uh, west and northwest. So that could be pulling in a rather chilly sort of north northeasterly, uh, or so. So, no, <laughs> you know, no sign of anything defined in terms of settled uh, spring weather, to be honest. So, let's read to uh, last CV to 500 millibar. I normally break it down into wheat beers. The first wheat beer 
takes from the 19th, 25th of March. The coming week will have low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing unsettled weather in from the Atlantic. High pressure began towards Spain, winter in from a west or southwesterly direction. And then week two will be the 26th of March to the 1st of April. Again, low pressure over and to the north and the east of the coast. So unsettled, relatively mild, I think. You know, we've got wind in from off the Atlantic. Although, as I explained in yesterday's video, it's not going to be long now for into the time of year where westerlies actually become a cooler wind direction. Of course, your winter westerlies are a mild wind direction, but in in summer, late spring into summer, um, westerlies will start becoming a cooler wind direction. But we're not there yet, so that's just a relatively mild uh, and uh, still unsettled settled scenario for week two. Week three is going to be the second to the eighth of April with low pressure again to the north. High pressure is to the west southwest. Winds coming in from off the Atlantic. That's looking a little bit changeable still. And then week four will be the ninth to the fifteenth of April. High pressure somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic. Low pressure is up towards Greenland. Winds again coming in from a westerly direction. So all looks rather Atlantic driven. The proper warm, warm weather with that is over on the east side of Europe with this area of high pressure around and to the north of the Black Sea. And that will be bringing up warmth at the eastern side of Europe. And that's genuine, you know, spring-like weather uh, up the east side of Europe. Maybe in summer-like weather down in the southeastern corner, you know, from the there, from Italy to Greece, Turkey, whatnot. Um, and we remain in, in uh, this more uh, unsettled, rather changeable, cooler regime out uh, in the northwest of Europe. So the wait for proper, you know, proper spring goes on. We will get there. We will get an area of high pressure that delivers genu a genuine protracted spell of drier and warmer weather at some point. But for now, the wait continues. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Webbins and ask them to subscribe as well. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, just to turn up tomorrow, we're going to have the uh, 6 a.m. upload. Uh, we'll have a 10 to 14 day video and then we will be live streaming Ensemble's Watch uh, tomorrow evening. That will be from 8 p.m. So I shall see you live uh, with our live stream tomorrow. But for this video and also for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.